Welcome to Veranda Financing Podcast. I'm Christine Mills. I'm so happy you joined me today. I am going to be talking about something that's very near and dear to me, which are books. I love books. And I find that they're even more helpful on this journey as an entrepreneur. I'm going to share with you five of my favorite books thus far for beginning entrepreneurs. The first one is Thou Shall Prosper by Rabbi Daniel Lappin. I really, really like this book. Um, I kept hearing about this book and I finally got around to reading it. And if you're looking for a practical guide to growing a profitable business and building wealth, this is a book for you. I really like the fact that he made me question my mindset in regards to growing wealth. Uh, it's, it's a pretty long book, but you don't even feel it while you're reading it. Secondly, Click Millionaires. Work Less, Live More with an Internet Business You Love by Scott Fox. Loved it. I I couldn't put the book down. Um, Once I picked up this book, I literally could not put it down. It's easy to read and Fox has a hands-on approach to doling out information regarding building a business in the technology age. After reading the first chapter, you really feel confident, confident that you can start your very own laptop business and it just made me look at things differently. Sometimes we are in a quest to grow a business based on what we perceive that how we should grow a business rather than trying to figure out what works best for our lifestyle. And it made me really think about um, my future and entrepreneurship and what kind of decisions I can make right now that will really give me a tailored lifestyle that works for me and my family. So pick it up. It's Click Millionaires, Work Less, Live More with an Internet Business You Love by Scott Fox. Thirdly, Pick Three, You Can't Have It All, Just Not Every Day by Randy Zuckerberg. Uh, Randy Zuckerberg. Yeah, this book is perfect for you if you are still trying to figure out time management or guilt for not getting everything done or feeling overwhelmed that you're long to do list. I love that her solution is simple. You just try to pick three for that day and it will help you focus on what really matters. Again, it's pick three. You can have it all, just not every day by Randy Zuckerberg. Um, the fourth one is the Martha Rules, 10 Essentials for Achieving Success as You Start, Build, or Manage a Business by Martha Stewart. I like this book. You know, I like Martha Stewart. Um, I remember when she first came out in the spotlight uh, in the early 90s for me when I first found out about her. And uh, I just like the fact that she built an empire from an often overlooked area of our lives, which is domestic life. And she really elevated it. And I still appreciate that about Martha Stewart. And she really paved the way for all of the artisan crafts that we see today. Um, the Etsy's of the world and, you know, people knitting and knitting su- uh, studios. It was Martha Stewart that really started that um, revolution. And I really appreciate that. And when I saw the book years ago, um, this book came on 2005. I still think it's a great read and that you could learn from her Martha Stewart herself, which I thought was really good. So it's the Martha Rules, 10 Essentials for Achieving Success as You Start, Build, or Manage a Business. And the last one, and I'm sure you've heard it. If you haven't, I will be the first one to share with you. It's called The 4-Hour Work Week: Escape 9 to 5, Live Anywhere, and Join the New Rich by Timothy Ferris. This book is another classic. Admittedly, I recently read this book after seeing and hearing it about it everywhere. The book did not disappoint at all. Um, Ferris pretty much lays out the structure to create the life you want on your own terms. And I like that he said the new rich because the new rich, I think, are people who have options. Um, before and Click Millionaire, the other book I mentioned talks about this, that years ago, the new, uh, the new rich was considered people who got the corner office. Now the new rich are people who are living life on their own terms, being able to uh, structure their day according to what they find to be important and not really, it's not like a hippie living. It's really just more practical. Like I have this amount of clients. 
I have a seven figure company and I live, I'm not just managing people all day, but I'm actually making a difference and doing things that I really love. So I will recap the books that I like and I think you should check out. It's called number one, Thou Shall Prosper by Rabbi Daniel Lapin, L-A-P-I-N. Secondly, Click Millionaires Work Less, Live More with an Internet Business You Love by Scott Fox. Number three, pick three. You can have it all, just not every day by Randy Zuckerberg. Number four, The Martha Rules, 10 Essentials for Achieving Success as You Start, Build, or Manage a Business by Martha Stewart. And lastly, The 4-Hour work week. Escape 9 to 5, Live Anywhere, and Join the New Rich by Timothy Ferris. And um, if you have not, please subscribe to the Veranda Financing Podcast. I see that I have some new listeners. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you tuning in. And if you could, please leave a review. I just would love to hear from you. And if there are other books that you think are should be on this list, I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm very active on Instagram and uh, at Veranda Financing, or you could also reach out to me at info at Take care and God bless.